Well then, I tried to level up the Ying, is it, level? But I feel like it just doesn't level up that much, so I don't even know. I'm not even sure what it does. Anyways, chapter four time. The gray area, school cleanup, escape the sky. What? Up on top of the skyscraper is being used to smuggle legal goods. Well, I would... I'm going to take the form of Homura, and you're to fight me. Don't hold back. Oh, I see. Wait, why would you hold back? Homura's an enemy. Ah, I'm not even... I try to sound as truthful as possible, but Hibari's still down in the dumps. She's been acting funny ever since we got back from Hibijo. We made it back in one piece, you know? Isn't that something to be happy about? I guess. Even I Ikaruga's attempt to cheer her up is a flop. She's not like her old self at all. Everyone can sense it, and it's really done a number on the move. Master Kiriya walks in. He looks exhausted and sighs at us. <sighs> he acts like he didn't hear me ask. I really want an answer, but I know better than to push my luck. We all walk out of the ninja room. Once we're outside, Asuka, Ikaruga, and Yagyu walk off in separate directions. I get how they feel. I'd rather be alone right now, too. I walk off campus and wander around. It's not long before I lose all track of time. Then, before I know it, the sun's starting to see set. I mutter to myself when something suddenly comes flying at me. Damn it. I was daydreaming and someone got the drop on me. I'm a goner. Or so I thought. It's not a weapon, but a mass of fluffy hair. What? Perfectly round body. Cute little brown eyes. Any way you look at it, this is Choco. I hug him with all my might and he w wags his tail like there's no tomorrow. Tears gush from my eyes and he leaps, laps them all up. I forgot this was a story point even. I hug him and time seems to freeze for a moment. As soon as I let him go, however, he starts to run. Where are you? Oh, okay, I see. You, you did that. You did that. Huh? I merely hurry after him. He looks back, his tail fluttering at 90 miles an hour. He's trying to get me to follow him. No way. Couldn't be. No chance. I get it. I know where he's trying to take me. Only one place it could be. He's taking me to mom and dad. I chase after him as fast as I can, over mountains, through valleys, across rivers. Running, running, running. Finally, he stops in a mountain forest. What I see is a small village, almost like an island. I follow Choco's line of sight. It's a field of eggplants, tomatoes, and cucumbers. And past that, past that field, I can make out the forms of my parents. They seem to have been out Weeding all day. I feel a wave of emotions taking over. Tracks begin to form down my cheeks. I don't even bother wiping my eyes. Choco runs around my feet. It's like he's telling me to hurry up and go to my parents. But I can't make myself do it. Choco. I understand. I know why my parents left me. It's because they failed a mission as a shinobi. If you fail a shinobi mission, you're supposed to pay with your life. But my parents didn't choose to kill themselves. After they failed their mission, they abandoned their house and ran. Since then, they've been so-called renegade shinobi, secretly living here in th this humble village. They must have been left behind because they didn't want me to get wrapped up in whatever punishment might come their way. And if I leave the here now, the sacrifice won't be for nothing. I give him a, I give him a big hug. It's not for me to know where my parents are, to know they're safe. I wonder if I'll ever be able to live with them again. I'll just have to be one damn good shinobi. If I can get some influence, I'll probably be able to have their failures and their desertion forgiven. That's why I have to become stronger. So strong that there's no one who can stop me from seeing them whenever I want. I pull away from Choco. He gives me a puzzled look, then turns and runs back into the field. I had to get out of here, and fast, before my parents notice me. I quickly wipe the tears from my eyes. And back to school. When I go back to the ninja room, everyone's standing at the door looking confused. I strain to hear them, and I can just make out Master Kiriya talking to Hibari. Hibari doesn't have anything to say. I get the impression the whole conversation's gone like this. I open the door to the ninja room and walk in. Snot! Snot! I don't know, I've never, I've never seen it written like that before. 
The idea walks into the ninja room behind me. Kuruga and Asuka are walking after her. I mean, it is the school's property in theory. That's what Kitty has finally beaten down by the opposition. We gotta get Hibari's spirits up! That's what Kitty stands at the podium and looks out at us. As if on cue, we all suddenly went pale. Why? That's what Kiriya nods. Asuka slumps and I give her a big slap on the back. Ouch! I say as firmly as I can. I forgot who I was even supposed to be here. I can't afford to give up on being a shinobi. It's the only chance I have for ever being with my parents again. Says Asuka enthusiastically. Ah. Everyone's motivated now. Except for Hibari. She still looks gloomy as hell. Despite our encouragement, she doesn't react at all. She blurts out. Begins to bury with a twinge of sadness. Yagyu yeah, asks quietly. Oh, that's why you gotta teach her to, like, I guess... Because now she's like, oh my god, they're just like me! Oops, whatever. It's like she just threw up something she'd been holding back for a while. She looks like she's about to cry. Why do the Bionis and the Mekonis have to fight each other? The ninja room goes quiet. I have nothing to say. I've never thought of the Hibijo as, as anything other than opponents before. But now that she mentions it, it makes sense. Good and evil are just a matter of perspective. Even my parents are no different. Mick and Shinobi are evil, but I don't think of my parents that way. They did what they felt was right to protect me. The Hibijo are the same way. Of course, you think you're doing what's right, or else you wouldn't be doing it. It takes so long, so I just skip it. It wasn't Ikaruga or Yagyu who broke the silence, but Asuka. Asuka didn't answer. She just start staring at Hibari. I get it. Asuka must have an idea. She must want to tell Hibari something through training. At some point, Asuka turned into a real leader type and decided to leave things in her hands. And that's where... Wait, Asuka? I'm playing as her, right? I'm not playing as Hibari. I mean, I'm going to pass this really easily. Oh, whatever. Yeah, his face looks super weird. Here we go! Time to beat everything up with, like, no problem. This is an astral chain, where it actually, like, takes effort. I just gotta mash buttons. That's literally all I do. Mash buttons. Here we go! Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's the fake one. Yo, this is gonna take no time at all. She she basically looks like a reskinned Asuka, I think. And then you have in the air. And then you do that, and then you go, wow, bam, and then look already transformation. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. And once I'm in this form, this not much the enemy. Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, sometimes again I just keep up uh, already. Uh, there we go. Uh, 
Oh, how you like that? Literally can't do anything. Oops. I went too far. Uh, again. And then what? How much more can your clothes even go off? I don't think it can go anymore. And wow! Oh yeah! Okay, I was like, it's not really doing anything. There we go. Victory. Yeah, see? Why is it doing twice? It doesn't go any further than that, so there's no point. Wow. Let's see. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? See, look, my yin. My yin can't seem to go up any higher. No matter how much I try to level it up. I actually don't know what she's trying to prove. Ah, sure, why not? Let's just go around with that. Let's, so let's just follow that. Mm, Fighting's bad, okay? I can hide the text in my head and hit it Y. See? So if I want a screenshot, I can do that. If I find something good, I'll hide the text. How about that? That way I can use it for a thumbnail. So the only thing I think about is this chapter is preparing for the fight and then the next chapter is the actual fight? We. I agree. I concur. Whoa! All right. Next mission. I'll beat this game at some point. You'll see. I'll beat this game. Chapter five. There's only five chapters. Yin Ninja Scroll Trial. We're trained for the Yin Scroll. Villagers will be disguised as evil shibuya to so take them out swiftly. All right, cool. Alrighty then, we'll do that. So it's finally almost time for the fight against the Hibijo. I walk around the shops district, bathed in the light of the setting sun, staring indifferently at my lengthening shadow. I hang my head and sigh. I may have said some pretty self-important stuff to Hibari, but I'm still a novice shinobi myself. Power must be a pairing of sword and shield. I still don't know what Grandpa meant by that. I'm still trying to follow the path of the shinobi, and I have absolutely no response for him. My fight so far, I've learned that combat is just one more than, more than about just swordplay and ninja arts. Sometimes my enthusiasm for battle can make up for my failings as a shinobi. If not for that, there's no way a novice like me would be able to survive. But this time, I'll be fighting Homura, who has the super secret ninja arts scroll. I feel like unless I figure out what Grandpa meant, I won't be able to lay a hand on him. Someone's not paying attention and bumps into me from behind. It's a girl with red hair and a bandana concealing her mouth. Wait, why would a bandana be, be concealing her mouth? With that, the girl takes off, almost running. Hey, that sounds like a thief, baby. Hmm, I haven't seen her. Haven't I seen her somewhere before? That didn't seem like an accident either. I heard they searched my cleavage. Yep, it's gone. Wow, she got into your cleave? That girl took it. She's one of the mounted thieves. I remember seeing her before, her eyes before. I started chasing after her. Since I noticed quickly, it doesn't take me long to catch up with her. Wait, how you fit? How you fit your purse in your cleavage? The redheads look back at me in surprise. That 
that's what ha that's when it happens. I suddenly start thinking that some kind of shadow just appeared, and the redhead drops it like drops like a sack of potatoes. The shadow picks up my person. I see that it's. Oh no, not Homura. She walks over to me, purse in hand. She sighs, holding out my purse as if an offering. I take it back and scratch my head. Homura stares directly into my eyes. I involuntarily gasp. She gives me a thin smile. I say as firmly as I can manage. Oh, okay, that was that short, I thought. I retort immediately, and Homer smiles again. She turns her back on me and starts walking. I call out to her. Wait, you want to have a dinner with her? That's kind of weird, isn't it? I start to smile and she clicks her tongue at me. I put on my utmost cheerful voice. Homer looks genuinely confused, but I keep talking anyway, feeling invigorated. I look her dead in the eye. She thinks about it for a second, then the corners of her mouth turn up a little smile. And 500 yen? I reply making a thumbs up gesture. I take her to Grandpa's sushi restaurant. Perfect timing too. No customers at the moment. As I expected, Grandpa's eyes go big and round when he sees us walking in. Homer said looks ready to kill. I mean, when she, it's her grandpa, she wouldn't really learn how famous he is necessarily, right? This grandpa's well known even within the Hibijo. Well, no introduction necessary then. Put my hands together to please my case. Push on Homura's back, guiding her to sit at the counter. Says Homura, watching Grandpa's face. Suddenly, Grandpa breaks into a big smile. Grandpa lays out a futomaki roll for me and a lamp of seasonal fish for Homura. Skipjack tuna, striped jack, sea, ba sea bass. My futomaki roll is good, but seeing her meal makes my mouth water. I bite into the thick futomaki roll. Homer eats her sushi delicately, paying careful attention to her table manners. She reminds me a lot of Ikaruga in that manner. We both get set, get set about eating with gusto. Grandpa doesn't say a word to me, and Homer and I say nothing to each other. Well, save for the straight comment or two on how good the food is. Grandpa proclaims the meal is on the, on the house. He exclaims. Homer says nothing, merely bowing politely. It's getting pretty dark outside. The, rest, the, the restaurant... It's game pretty out ducks dark outside the restaurant. We walk through the shops district in silence. It's not even that we feel awkward around each other. It's more like that comfortable silence shared by old friends. What an odd feeling. I only just recently met Homura, and our first meeting had us fighting for our lives. Yet she still feels like an old friend to me. Asks Homura, suddenly. I'm not putting it very well, and Homer lets out a big sigh. Honestly, I don't have a clue either. I can sound tough all I want in front of Hibari, but when you get right down to it, I have no idea what the path of the shinobi is all about. 
For stars, I still don't get Grandpa's whole sword and shield thing, no matter how many times I repeat it to myself. But there's one fact that's never changed. Homer's showing an obvious interest in what I'm saying. Sorry, I've been yawning. I don't know why. I try to imagine how that must sound to Homura. Probably naive as all hell. But this is the way I've always felt. Said Homura with a sigh. Now that she mentions it, she's right. I can't help but think about it in chess terms. Using your rooks and knights as the front line instead of your pawns would be pretty illogical. I reply reflexively and Homer smiles a little. I notice we're near the edge of the shop's district. I don't expect her to answer, but I ask anyway. Immediately she suddenly turns to face me. I stop and look back into her eyes. Her pupils are suddenly clear. She watches my eyes and I feel like she's laughing at me. I don't say anything. She turns around and starts walking away. Says Homura decisively as we reach the end of the shop district. I'm still fumbling for a response when she vanishes like a shadow. I almost feel like I've been hallucinating. I just stand there, staring at where she was. When my cell goes off, I snap back into reality. I look at the screen and see Kat's name. Big news? Big news? Huh? Is that easy? Oops, didn't mean to shout. Is that easy? Just get another- Ah, yeah, we lost the other one. Let's get another one. How do you even get it? Is this supposed to be ancient, I presume? Oh, I see. Alright, whatever. He's going on for too long, anyway. しかし、学校長から使用の許可が下りるまでは完全に極秘にしなければならなかったんだ。そうだったんですか。オムラが奪っていったのは、いわば陽の超秘伝忍法書。そしてここにあるのは、もう一つの陰の超秘伝忍法
Go frantic now. Nah, I'm not gonna go frantic. There's no reason to. Alright, here we go. Hey, let's beat up a bunch of enemies. Oh my god, stop doing that to me. Wow, and then you're doing transformation. Oh no, I hit something. Alright, it's fine. I was gonna lower the volume. I realized not oh, my keyboard's not actually there. I uh have it under the, the kind of desk thing. Oh man, they have the snakes. These are all dummies, actually. Did you die? Did these people die? I mean, these aren't people, though, so it doesn't matter. Uh, there we go. Yeah! Whoa! Oh, there's gonna be a lot of Asuka levels then at this rate. Wow. Wow. I like I flip them up, toss them up, and scoop them down. I thought there'd be something in there. There we go. Alright, whatever, let's go. At least we're gonna be many items here. Oh, level up! Here we go! Ugh. I don't think this takes away much. Oh, maybe it does. Let's see here. Whoa! Oh, maybe it does take away a lot more than I thought it would. Ah. I'm really not losing even my clothes that much. Alright, there we go. Doing da! Oh no. Yeah! Oh wow, it's done already? Never mind. I thought it was gonna take longer than that one. But apparently it's short. Like her skirt. Ah! My yang is already filled to the max, and if I go frantic, I don't think technically count as complete. This is just the first step though. Yeah, see? Yeah, I feel this chapter is going to be pretty much Asuka. Because it's about the, like, the freaking the super secret scroll. Oh well, it just makes shit easier then, I guess. But for now, maybe I'll do Asuka training. Yeah, let's just do this quickly. Should be treachery. Let's just do some of these minor missions first. Might as well. Alrighty then. This is basically the same level I was at before. Just mindless beating up. There we go. Transform time! Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a go really fast, probably. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get you! Bam! Oh, watch this! Boom! Holy hell. Let's get him! Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh yeah? Watch this. Doing! Oh, 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 yeah. How about this? Oh my god, he's even more. Oh, there's so many here. 
Get them! You are the last one. Cool. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's if you do that. It can't come and get you even. Oh no! My clothes are ripping! Boom. Uh, your time to die. Oh yeah. I wonder what I mean these are I guess harder in theory. Doing Where are you? Oh here. It should be it, I think. Wow! Just keep hitting the Y button and you win, pretty much. Boing! Really? You're not dead yet? You have, like, extra energy? Ugh. I can't get that one. Ow! Yeah, boing. Come on. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. I don't know if that does more, more damage or not. I don't think it does. Oh, here we go again. I mean, when you do this thing with the green, you pretty much fill up right away. I lose all my clothes in this raid. Oh. oh no! My clothes are about to die. One point. Milk. Oh. I don't think I'm not dead yet. I'm gonna lose my clothes. Oh my god, look at that meter build. Oh, there we go. Oh no, I missed it! Yeah, I'm about to lose my claws! Oh no, there we go! Oh boy. Oh what? Oh that's a, that's a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail. Yeah, success right after I lost all my clothes. Yeah, she's basically the same model as Homura, I think. I believe, like the same base model. See, she's even wearing that stuff. Still can't build up my yin, though. Like, I mean, because I wasn't frantic, but even like I said, I played some frantic, but I don't know what builds it up. It's not simply just doing the missions, because I've tried that already. So at this point, I'm not even sure what it is. Should I do this next uh, simple mission? We got school cleanup and escape to the sky. All right, let's do school cleanup, I guess. Just defeat. It's usually just defeat the enemies. No specific amount. Usually no timer. Only sometimes. Otherwise, it's just beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up. There we go. Yeah. Uh, and then we, of course, transform! Yeah. Sounds done. Uh, there you are. 
Too many people here. Need to clear them out. I destroyed them all. Oh my god, it's the big bitch. Oh. Already gone, apparently. Alright, level up. You! Can you please? There you go. I know how I shoot that up sometimes. Imagine if the big one comes out the door. That would be weird, right? Alright, good. They're all gone. This is the harder version of one of the previous levels or something. Get this big one. I don't even know if, like, she can defend against my regular hits now. There we go. There we go! Up the stairs! Whoa! That was easy. Hora! Hora, 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 Oh, here we go! Wow! Tornado time! Oh, it's just you left. Yeah! Whoa! Wait! Look at this. Insanity! Absolute insanity. Can the game even keep up with all this insanity? I can't even see all of them yet. Uh, get the big one down. Oh, already done. Here we are. Uh, yeah, I think you can break through that one. Wait, do I have a fourth meter now? I think I do. That's insanity. A fourth meter. I mean, good luck building it up, I guess. Jesus Christ. HP recoveries, get that. I might lose a bit of my clothes soon. Yeah, see, it can just lift you up in the air. Go. Ow. Yeah, I might lose some of my clothes soon. There we go. Oh, really? You survived somehow? Whoop. All the girls just screaming every time I slice them. How'd they survive? Oh my gosh, two big bitches! There we go. Only one small one now. Oh wow, success. I thought I was gonna go up another four, but apparently not. Mm hmm. Yata! That was something that took like four minutes to do. And a level up. See, man, you can't lose at this thing. You might lose clothes, but you can't actually lose at this thing. Yay! Well, I guess I'll do the next mission. Okay. Yeah, let's do this one. Asuka training. Maybe as hard as some of the smaller side missions.
No, no one dies because you both appear in future games. This is gonna go to the battle fast because it's no like uh, visual novel thing. She's just having a monologue right now. Alright then. What are we fighting here? I don't even remember. I think it was just more training. Probably some really small training. But I haven't unlocked the next mission. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Well, some missions can be, some can, but since these follow sort of uh, the order, it makes sense, I guess. Get the super secret ninja scroll, apparently. Alright, who has it? I wonder. Alright, here we go. Transform again, of course. What Again, at this point, there's like no way to lose all this. I know their clothes meter never increases or something. Wait, what? Where? Oh, here you are. Wah. Yeah, I have four meters now for my my move thing. Just want to get that one. Yeah. Whoa! Boink! Yeah! Who has a scroll? Just give it to me now so we can save some time here. Oh, you came to the wrong place! You're facing against the wrong ninja. Oh! Yeah! Wow, my meter's full. Yeah, I jumped. Just a small jump still did it. Yeah. Try and move a little bit to like get everyone in my spinning attack. Hey, how did I miss you? How did you dodge my attack? Oh, that's not it. You want more? That's it now, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right, let's just do this one then. So I can take care of this way as possible. Level up time. Okay, this has to be where the scroll is somewhere, right? I feel like we're in the final area almost. I don't know if we can go further than that. Ah, everyone! Where's the scroll? I don't know if it's like randomized or not. Like, I don't think you can get it earlier. That's not possible, I know that much. Yeah. Oh no, never mind, we still have to go further. Oh, here, I got it. Okay, there we go, I got it. So that was the last one indeed. It wasn't hidden with one of the ninjas. Only two minutes and 50 seconds! It's only the Yang that's going up. I can't get the Yin up. Hmm. 
Hmm, that's kind of odd that we're going to be going to fight Homer in some big battle. I mean, we know there's probably a fifth chapter. That's my assumption, at least. Uh, let's see, we got chapter four. Ikaruga. Oh my god, wait, do I have to do training for each of them? That might be it. Now let's go escape to the sky. So I have to do it for each one. Wait, can each one get a scroll? I don't think that makes any sense. Because there wouldn't be enough scrolls for everyone. Unless there is. I'm not sure. Whatever. Maybe it's just a way to make sure you're all level up for like the next chapter. I feel like it's going to be more time runs out of. Plus I have to transform. It's so dark here or something. There we go. Now I have no issue with it. I, mean, I can do these small missions on my own. I don't even know why I'm showing them. I guess it's padding? I guess that's what it would be. Yeah. All good? No, still one more. Uh, this song makes, reminds me of something out of like the Ninja Turtles game, like a beat-em-up. I don't know if it's just me. Oh, wait, I want that. Let's get it! What time? I have 7 minutes and 16 seconds. Why is it 16 seconds though? Very specific. Let's do it. One more. That is more. There's another one. Where are you? There we go. What, you're still alive? How? Ow, he came out of the ground. Fucking ninja girls coming out of the ground, attacking me. Ah, more! It appeared out of nowhere! Whatever I can here. Up through the wall. Yeah, these are repeats. I might as well not even do these to show. I might as well do them on my own. Oh. I have to start beating up on them soon, though. Where are you? There we go. Hmm. I got a lot of items in here. Yeah, see if you kill a lot of them here. Absolutely, like. I think we're gonna be getting close to the end soon. This feels like it. Oh, there we go. I feel like I just gotta kind of go up there. Oh my god, they're still alive! Just how dare you breathe fire at me! Well, let's head up now. All right, I think we're getting close to the end. We're on like the helipad. Th oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Dude. Well, that's an A for sure. How much work I even level up at this point? I mean, probably at least a little bit, but I don't know. Yeah, let's go train Ikaruga right now. Imagine I have to do every single girl in Chapter 4. Let's see. Let's go train. I want to train you to train further and improve your speed. Defeat those foes with little movement as possible. With as little movement as possible? I mean, it's only one train per girl, I feel like it would be. Oops. I guess they each get a training. 
この命をかけてもさあヒエン行きましょう、yeah. 最後の修行です This is the final train for all of them, I guess. Alright, well, we'll do that then. I'm assuming, like I said, this is probably just to get like an extra maybe level up for each of them. The only thing I can think of. Her air one, I think, is bad. Yeah, she... So always use the ground one, I believe. Which is fine. I'm fine with that one. Ugh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, she also, yeah, she only has uh, three. This is, okay, before a time limit. Seems like all these train ones are before the time limit. There we go. Here we go. Yeah. Ain't that fun. Oh. Is that it? Good. How do you do that with your sword in the area anyway? Yeah. Okay, cool. Level up time. Almost had all of them in the air. Let's do it again! Oh, I guess one side though, that's an issue with that. Fucking projectile! Alright, that's it for you. Next place! I guess they have to be close to you if they're gonna be on the, the opposite side that you're facing. So they can't be too far. They're doing that way, I guess. Ugh. There we go. Hey, you ran behind me. How dare you do that? No, oh, oh, oh. oh, wrong way! There's also uh, extra experience here. You know what, just do this. Just so I can kill them. So at least like five minutes left here. They might be getting close. Experience time. Oh my god, there's so many of them here. Get him! Get him! There's more! <laughs> I got all of them in there. Whoa. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, can we learn new flash mode art? What is that even? The flash mode art. Is that what it is? I don't even know if that's true. Yeah, I think hers was not good in the air, because it goes like in a straight line. Get her! The ones that were in the air, though, I don't know if I got them. But Jesus Christ, there's so many here. This dummy is still alive. Ah! Up, oh, done. I didn't even lose my clothes. Wait a minute, don't I want that? I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. Did I level up? We have just by a little bit. A new flash technique. Please check the tech list. A new ninja art. 
Burn in sure frantic. When after performing a shinobi transform while well, frantic, press LX when a ninja gets full. Wait, have I done that one? I might have to test it out. I'm not even sure if I've ever done that L and X. Oh yeah, it feels like we're building to a finale here. That'll be uh, fun. But then I still gotta do the Hibijo school. Alright, I think I'll do one more. Maybe one more training then. Yeah, oh my god, look at all that Katsu guy. Yeah, okay, I'll do hers last. I'll do all these other ones uh, on my own time. They're just freaking random bullshit. Maybe I'll do those uh, smaller ones on my own. Because there's really no point. Oh, she cheered up, I guess. All right, then. Let's use uh, Katsugari, and then we'll end it here. Basically, defeat everyone within the time limit, for sure. Waha, we're back in the forest area. Oh, damn. What the? There's a giant ass to destroy the boulders. Okay. That's very specific. Alright. I need to destroy these boulders even. I'm going to the enemies always. Yeah, I guess I gotta use these to charge my thing. And then I gotta use perhaps this. Does this work? It doesn't work. It doesn't work at all, so it's kind of pointless, I feel like. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work, but this is different, for sure. At best, it's good for, like, getting rid of the enemies around me or something. Like, if I do this and there's enemies around me, it's just good for when I'm trying to defeat the boulders. That's all it is. Well, that works, too, actually. Ah. Oh, okay. If I use that, apparently, it's much easier. It defeats them very quickly. Of course, this may not be the only level. Oh, never mind. What? That's really it with her? Just break the boulders? That's all you gave me with her? Okay, fine. Whatever. Fine, whatever then. Man, I got nothing with her yin. Shinobi art thingy or whatever. Flash. Oh, there you go. Just break those three boulders. The other one's super long. Beat everyone up. Time limit. That one. Boulders. Three boulders. Just press R. Press R. Boulders dead. Literally could do it in a few seconds, I feel like. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end it here for now. Next time. Oops, that's not it. Yeah. Next time, I guess finish the training. I'll do the small missions on my own. And I shall see you next time. So long. <laughs>